What's up guys? It's Mike with Shallow Reefing coming back at you with another video and today we are going to be upgrading this four stage uh, water saver system into a six stage system. So recently I've noticed that, I don't know if you can see this, but my deionization resin has just been pretty much depleted recently. And I don't know what it was, you know, like I thought I could make it through another year, but all of a sudden it went from barely having any being used up to just completely depleted in the last couple, um, last couple batches of water that I've made. So today, oops, let's get that right. So today I'm going to be upgrading it. So I did buy a, the BRS a four to six stage uh, system and of course i bought it not on black friday but like you know in january and i was waiting for a sale or something to go on so i bought it and then like literally 10 days later they had 10 percent off on that system so you know try to catch the sales but didn't catch the sale so what i'm going to do today is i'm going to upgrade the system so as you can see i got a new flow restrictor this is a flow 600 that means 600 milliliters uh goes through this uh, little flush valve now the old flush valve that i have is a 550 and for some reason right here on this nozzle where it comes down it leaks so i'm going to upgrade this part and see if that works i gotta say i love brs and how they always have videos because it really goes a long way to helping you out so pretty much the reason why i'm upgrading to a six stage unit is because i think our water kind of switched to chloramines so i did notice that i did have when i did the testing there were some chloramines and i think that's what really ate up the um the di resin so with that we got the brs um carbon blocks that we're going to be adding in here so i'll have two instead of one i also have two deionization resins so i'm going to try to set that up and hopefully get that figured out because i don't know how i'm going to get two of those on that I might be able to get it on there on that board. I put the board on there to protect the drywall from any leaks or anything like that, but everything seems to be working out so far. Now, the one thing I'd really like for BRS to do is when you are upgrading this, you see how we have the color change in DI, we got the micron carbon block, and we got the sediment filter. I wish they made another sticker. Uh, I mean, honestly, like you're gonna know because this will be a carbon block carbon block and this filter will be moved to the side but you know be nice to slap on a sticker there that way in case someone gets it from you they're gonna know what to do kind of idiot proof the thing but you know just a little tidbit if they wanted to do that that'd be cool I would love to slap it on here that way it would make sense to people who don't really know all the upgrades you make to it because honestly I've made so many upgrades to this filter I went from the basic uh, like value system than I did the uh, got the upgrades for the TDS meter and the pressure valve and then I also did a another um, resin that way I could or the membrane that way I could get more water and do like the water saver version of it so I mean I've never regretted upgrading anything on this system this is probably the best bang for your buck if you want to put anything into your hobby that you know you're going to get a good return on your investment i think doing a good uh, rdi system is definitely going to be the way to go another reason to always have your rdi unit in the garage is when you take it off there's just so much water that comes out even if you are super careful or I could probably take the whole thing out and put it in the sink, but then it's just difficult to ratchet this thing off with, you know, your little tool. So I just keep it on here and just turn it tight. Not gonna lie, kind of confused. So this is what came from the old one, and it fits right there, nice. And this is the new one. I mean, and it's supposed to fit in at the bottom. Holy cow, did this one really shrink up that much? I don't remember it ever being that thick. Insert that's what she said joke. But, for real, that is crazy. Hopefully this works out. So, it fit perfectly in. Surprised. But I do love how BRS always gives you a little bit extra of the DI resin, so in case you're an idiot like me and, you know, spill some. 
you're not, you know, up a creek without a paddle. So time to do the next one and get this rolling. So that is what depleted DI resin looks like. It is completely yellow. Some tinges in there, but you know, definitely needed to change it out and definitely think an upgrade is necessary. All right, now we get to the fun part. How am I going to get the RDI unit plus the two extra canister filters on there? Hmm. And to make it on this two by two sheet. All right, after much debate on how this should go and rearranging it and everything, I was able to get everything on here, but just barely. So the water will come through. I don't have it hooked up yet, but it'll come through the booster pump, go down through, go through summon filter, up and around, go through both of the carbon blocks, then go through the uh, membranes, the dual membranes, go down through the um, deionization resin up and over to the deionization resin down and around and then it will be shut up into my reservoir up top and I have a shut off valve um, to turn off the booster pump if there's ever back pressure when the tank gets too full so that is it now it's time to do a pressure test and see how everything works out and see if I got any leaks this will be fun all right, just turned it on. It's filled up the bottom chamber here. Going into this chamber. No leaks. carbon is dirty well good thing I'm flushing it all out so I have it with the flush valve wide open so I'm flushing this whole system oh my god look at all that carbon I don't think it's said to uh... I'm pretty sure it didn't say to wash the carbon before you put it in I don't know I watched the video didn't say anything huh I don't know. Comment below if you think oh, I should have washed the carbon. I don't think I should have. I'm pretty sure it didn't say anything about washing carbon out, but it's gonna go through slowly. Everything looks good. So now I'm gonna turn the booster pump on. So apparently it's our school pump. Booster pump, come on. <sighs> No leaks. Pretty solid. All right, guys. Looks like I did it. So, how was it? Pretty dang easy. I mean, we do really difficult stuff in this hobby all the time, and this is like nothing. I mean, it probably took me, and I changed out all the filters and everything and rearranged the whole system. It took me 20 minutes tops. I mean, you could probably, if you have it all set up, you could probably do it. Put the filters in everything. 10 minutes tops. I mean, it, it was nothing. So, one of the best parts about the hobby is always getting the upgrades. So, I don't think you could ever go wrong with getting an upgraded uh, RDI system. And probably, I would say the best thing you want to do if you ever want to do your own water and make it is definitely get a booster pump. Oh my god, that thing has saved so much time and effort. That booster pump is amazing. And when you get a booster pump, always set up a uh, a valve or a float switch to turn off the booster pump because it's gonna save you in the long run. Granted, mine is in the garage, so, you know, no big deal. Gravity fed all the way down for my saltwater mixing station, but it's worked out pretty well for me. All right, guys, so added the booster pump, added the uh, water saver upgrade, and I've upgraded to a six-stage unit. I think I'm done with it. I think I'm done upgrading. There's nothing else I could upgrade unless BRS comes out. Well, I'm not gonna do that three, three stage mixed bed deionization resin with cation anion, nope. I'm done after this. I'm happy with it. But, hope you like this update guys. Until next time, like, comment, subscribe, comment below, 
Let me know. Let me know if you think I should have, uh, you know, washed out that carbon block. But I'll see you next time, and I will be doing an overview of the 80-gallon uh, shallow reef on the next video.